I will start by explaining something very simple in Blade, if-else statements and unless. In the pages controller, I will pass a gender variable using compact to the Blade view. We can say here gender equals to male, and using compact, we can say gender. Let's try to access the gender variable inside the blade test view. So go to the blade test view. And uh, we can see here your gender is, and then we can determine the gender. So if gender equals to male, then we will print male. Else, if gender equals to female, we print female, otherwise we will print unknown. Also remember that you have to end the if statement, so at the end just say and if. So let's see the result, so if we go here, now it says your gender is male. And this is because in the pages controller, the gender has the value male. So if we change this to female and we save this, we go back, now it says your gender is female. So it goes inside the blade test blade file and it finds out what the gender is according to the if else statements. So now in case the value in the gender is not male or female, then it has to print unknown. So let's try something very random here something like this, we save this, we go back and now it says your gender is unknown. So most probably you already know programming and I think that this logic here is very simple, right? I mean, nothing very complicated. So let's continue and discuss the unless directive. So unless directive is something pretty much the same as the if else. So let me try this. I will create a new variable called text and we can say here hello there. Of course we have to pass this to the view, so text. Now we can go to the view and we can use this uh, text variable. So I will delete the content that is inside the paragraph. This statement here is the exact same thing as if you say if not empty text and of course you have to print the text and you have to close the if statement. So this is the exact same thing as this one. So they're both equivalent. This one using unless and this one using if. So if I go back we should get twice the text hello there as we do here. So they are both equivalent. If the unless statement makes sense to you then go ahead and use it, otherwise go with the old way which is the if statement. Now from your PHP knowledge you might know the shorthand for if else, which is this one true, then this is true, else this is false. Right, so this is the shorthand for if else. So how can we do something like this with the blade? We can create a new paragraph. So let's say if is set variable doesn't exist. So this variable doesn't exist, right? So we do not have this variable anywhere. This is just an imaginary variable that I just created. So this one should return false because this variable is not set. So in case it is set though, then print the variable. So variable doesn't exist. Else say the variable doesn't exist, which is the text. So if I go back and we reload this, we get this message. The variable doesn't exist simply because this variable, it really doesn't exist. We just created it right now. However, if we try to say something like text and text here, it should display the text that we have right here, hello there again. 
and it does because this one exists. So this is how you can use the shorthand for if else using blade. However, I prefer another case. So this one is a lot simpler than the one that we have discussed. We can use or. So the idea is very simple. You just say the variable name, so variable doesn't exist, or this really doesn't exist. So this one and this one, they are equivalent. So what we do here is to check if this variable is set, then we print the variable. Otherwise, which means or here, we print the text. So it pretty much is the same like this one. But I think this second case here using the or is more clear. So if we go back and we try this, we get the this really doesn't exist text, which is this case right here. 